What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Black Series Gaming Greats Umbra Operative Arc Trooper from Star Wars Battlefront 2. That is a lot of name for a guy who doesn't really even have a name. But this, of course, is the one of the Arc Trooper styles you can have in the game Star Wars Battlefront 2, a game that I love. I played it hours on end, I have most of my characters in, like, like, thingies leveled up insanely. Love it so much. Love playing as the clones. I recently re-downloaded it. Had a blast playing it, and I gotta say, I, I think the Arc Trooper might be my favorite of the, like, specialist, whatever you call them, like, the ones, like, the special characters. Like, you got the Jet Trooper, the, uh, uh, these guys <laughs> basically got the uh the commando and the jet trooper. I think the arc trooper might be my favorite one. Uh uh commando's my least favorite cuz I'm awful with them. But man, I love arc troopers. They're so cool and uh this is the easiest way to acquire the black series arc trooper because uh the other two were now all of them have been exclusives, but GameStop exclusives are the easiest to find because Gaming Greats a GameStop exclusive. The other ones are Fordo, which is a Walmart exclusive. I've seen it once. Regret not buying it then. Never saw it again. Never even saw Echo. But and uh, this is the easiest one to find. But it is in all black. So if you just wanted to like make a bunch of customs, you'd have to paint this guy or pay extreme prices on the aftermarket. But this guy's awesome. Really glad I have him. He's also the only one with the patch on this end. So yeah, before we talk about this pretty dope figure, let's get into the packaging because, you know, it's Black Series box. I love it. Um, I keep wanting to say Umbara, but it's um, Umbra? Umbra? I don't know how to say it. Uh, operative Arc Trooper. He's just an Arc Trooper. 4 Plus Hasbro. Gaming great. Got the nice blue. Battlefront, got the window up here, window here, window here, gaming greats, blue, Star Wars the Black Series, got the nice shot of him on the side, love the artwork on these, probably my favorite artwork out of any Hasbro packaging, got the artwork on the side, then a little bio, the Umbra Operative Art Trooper is part of the Infiltration Refor Reinforcement Unit for the Galactic Republic and the action-packed multiplayer game across all three eras, Star Wars Battlefront 2. As you can see here, Battlefront 2, number 9, Star Wars Gaming Greats Battlefront 2. Um, doesn't line up with any of the other ones I have, but it's alright. Bringing him in here, he's a pretty dope boy. Um, he comes with only two accessories, and that's his uh, pistols. What, what, what are they called, like DC-17 pistols or something? I don't know the name. They're the exact same pistol you get with every other pistol-wielding character in all of Star Wars. They come with Rex. They come with, I believe, like, all of the Bad Batch members. They come with Fox, Wolf, Bly. They come with all the other ARC Troopers, and they come with this guy. Easy peasy. They holster. Can s if it's in focus. It's hard to focus it because, you know, he's all black, and my camera does not like picking up full black characters probably because my lighting's horrific sadly though they for some reason have still not given a second trigger finger hand for the left is that the left yeah the left so you just gotta wiggle it in there i mean i've seen people just like get an exacto knife and just cut the finger loose and it works but getting him there he looks awesome he looks like he's about to run up miss all his shots and then get absolutely annihilated by Grievous coming up from behind crawling like a maniac at least that's how I play because I'm not good at any video game but yeah he looks cool and uh I wish he came with more accessories but then I think and he doesn't use anything else in the game unlike the Jet Trooper which is another one from Battlefront 2 which he came only with one of these pistols. Even he came with a pistol, but he also uses a rocket launcher in the game, so it sucks, he, but he didn't get the rocket launcher, which, which sucks. But him, he just he just uses the pistols, which is nice. And you can holster them in the holsters, and then it leads to one of my only, I think one of my only two complaints with this figure. 
um, which is this. Of course, on camera, it actually stayed in pretty well, but the guns fall out the holster very easily. You saw I just tapped the side a few times and it fell out. Let me grab Rex, who is another holstered character. God dang it, a train. I love living next to railroad tracks. But yeah, let's get Rex in here. Could slap this for hours, that gun's not going anywhere. I mean, yeah, it might be because there's a hole at the bottom, but even then, Echo here, his doesn't have a hole. I don't know if it's because, unlike, because this is like maybe a different plastic because it's separate, but even then, I don't know. And it sucks, because when you mess with him, now if I'm worried that he might just fall, and this gun's gonna fall out, and then it's gone forever. Which sucks, you know? You don't want to lose the guns. But again, one of my few complaints with this figure, he looks great. Like, all the paint apps are great. This is the new ARC Trooper mold. It's the first time I've ever owned it as well. And it's a great figure. For the most part, it's a completely new figure from that original clone body, which is here. I think it only shares the upper arms, the thighs, the pads, and I believe that's it. I believe everything else is completely new. I might... Torso might be the same, and these pieces are just glued on. But, like, I feel like he has a better butterfly... So I don't know if it's just this figure or, you know. But yeah, he feels great. He feels great. He looks great. Let's just get into the sculpt because, yes, yeah, what's up? And let's start off with the helmet. Come on. It looks great. It's, it's the phase 1.5. Like the mid... It's the Phase 1, Phase 2 combination helmet that the ARC Troopers used in the Clone Wars until they got the Phase 2 helmets and then they just went to back to normal Phase 2. But, like, it's got the bulkier piece down here with the more pointed thing here and with the fin in the back. But it looks great. The yellow paint is really nice and everything. You got the antenna, can move down really well. It's also really thin, so be careful. It's definitely not like how... It is with Rex, which is like one of the first clones with an antenna where it's a lot thicker. This is a lot thinner. No paint on it. And then we get to my main complaint. Because like, yeah, the yellow paint looks really nice on here. Kind of reminds me of Ghost from Call of Duty. With like, kind of resembles a skull a bit. And like, yeah, it's a little tethered, 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 weathered, scratched on some of the sides. But that just matches the paint in the game. But my main complaint with this figure, is that they didn't paint the visor at all. It's the same plastic as the helmet. Now, yeah, it's full black, okay, can kind of let it slide, but in the game and on the, even on the box, the visor stands out so much more from the rest of the armor. So I feel like they still should have painted it, the visor on this, like, a glossy black to make it stand out a bit more. And I might take like a fine point Sharpie in there and just color it to make it stand out more. But beyond that, that's my, like my only complaint. And then moving to the back of the helmet, it looks nice. Although I did notice in the game, that's supposed to be red back there. But I feel like most phase one figures actually miss that detail. But it looks nice. He's got his backpack. Um, I heard though, like the three and three quarter inch one, you can like store a rifle on it, but not the six inch, which which sucks. But yeah, it's got a lot of nice detail. Don't know what the backpack does in the slightest. Um, I guess is there to look cool. Like the pauldrons looks good. It's just all black, and uh, yeah, they moved the pouch on this arm, not on this arm, on this chest, because the original one was Echo and had on there. But they didn't do it for Fordo, which tripped me out because this guy and Fordo dropped around the same time We've got that nice yellow on the chest um yeah it's not much to talk about and then got the arms again nice yellow but i've noticed some parts of the yellow are like super thick like the elbow pads and those are painted because when you bend the elbows you can see white in the corners but like 
then on some parts of the armor it's not as thick. And that kind of aggravates me. But you know, I let it slide. Looks nice and get down to the hands. Got that nice paint. And got like whatever this is. And then a missile that I've never seen an arc trooper use once. You can kind of turn it. It's a little tight because this... We can get him looking like he's gonna blow something up. This is basically just a more Mandalorian-esque trooper. Then get to the camera, which is just very flexible plastic. It's not like Echo's where it's a lot thicker, but that's because these pouches are separate. And I like it more than the cloth because look at Rex's cloth. It Look at how it sits. It doesn't sit right. This actually sits really accurately to how it is. And that's my main complaint with soft goods. I say it every time a character could have soft goods. i rather they not have it at this scale because it never sits well. I'm glad it's a nice piece because then you got the nice paint over it. And then this whole, like the pouch, straps, and holster are all separate pieces, which shocked me. I thought they would have been molded to it. And they connect to the belt, which means you can kind of move the belt up, which is interesting. I don't know. That's something you could do. Because I do believe, yeah, it is separate. It's a separate piece from the camera. You can get down to the legs. You know, it's it's a black trooper, which is really cool. You don't really see too many, like, full black clone troopers, which is nice. Got the nice pads. Got the weird armored, like, lower legs. And got that nice yellow paint on the feet. You know, he's kind of like a Steeler Stormtrooper. Not Stormtrooper, Clone Trooper, you know give like Pittsburghy name but I couldn't think of anything that wasn't absolute cringe so he's just cool art trooper guy but yeah going over regulation um he's got a dumbbell joint at the head basically what all the clones have I know he has an unmasked head because I wish they just do what they do with the vintage collection just give them all removable helmets that'd be so cool because I know there's a clone head underneath there and if echo wasn't so difficult I just buy a bunch of him, remove all the helmets, and put the head underneath. There needs to be, like, an easily accessible, blank, boring clone trooper head. So that I can just buy a bunch of them and swap it so they can all have unmasked heads. But yeah, looks down that far, looks up that far, rotates. But his thick pipes up here get in the way of the uh, shoulder pads, which are pretty solid. Arm moves out. Ooh, heard a crack about that far since the shoulder pad feels it feels harder than the normal ones and also there's no way it's like it's there's a bunch hindering over here but it can rotate has a butterfly joint single jointed elbow with rotation in and out hinge on this hand up and down hinge on this hand diaphragm joint which actually actually moves oh my god not a whole lot but you know can get a nice side to side and rotates really well here's where it's super hindered yeah not getting too much forward not getting really any back and uh can kind of do the splits you got a really good knee though that goes up really far and then you got these really tight hinged feet with rockers so he's hindered in a couple places, but overall, he, he's he's a really dope figure. Um, I, I'd i say he was worth the $28 I paid for. I know, $28 for a repaint, but since he's, like, very, like, different from any other clones I had, like, I don't own this figure already, I was more lenient for it. As for the rest of, like, Delta Squad, $28 for repaints of this exact figure I already own. That's steep. That is steep. But you know, for this guy, it was worth it because he is awesome. He feels great. He looks great. Definitely recommend picking him up if you just like awesome clone troopers. Let's get him geared up. You know, he's about to, he's about to take on the clankers. This is the worst clone trooper impression I might have ever done in my entire life. But yeah, he looks like he's one of those, like, OC characters that would, like, die in a blaze of glory. Like some lone wolf type character that goes out fighting a bunch of, like, super battle droids. You know, kind of the way Thorn went out. But yeah. Oh yeah, comparisons slipped my mind. Uh, let's quickly compare them to some figures. 
here he is next to our previous review. He Who Remains, go check that out. Got him and his sandals out there. Here he is next to a Transformer. And Moon Knight for a Marvel Legends, even though we just brought out He Who Remains. And for some larger scale people, here he is next to DC Riddler and Master Chief from Halo 2. And ironically, I do think this is like an accurate size between the characters, because, you know, Master Chief's just that huge. And for some clones, here he is next to Rex and Echo. Because why not? The base normal clone. And finally, Boss and the Jet Trooper from Gaming Greats. They look great together, even though, I mean, I guess they all could be together. I've reviewed these two previously. If you want to check those out, you can. And yeah, so my expert opinion on this guy is by him. He's worth it. Um, He is awesome. He is cool. I might name him uh, Gregory. Gregory the clone. Gregory. Or is there already Gregory? Well, you know what? Our Trooper Gregory, that's who he is. He looks like he'd blast about three droids before getting absolutely pummeled by some commando droids. So that's about it. Go check out my previous reviews. Uh, we did He Who Remains. We got a lot more. Got a couple more Star Wars. Got uh, some Transformers DC. More Marvel. And I got some customs that I got in the works so uh, stay tuned because that should be an interesting one if I am able to finish it because uh, it's it's a lot. And uh, go check out my Instagram, MoonNXO. You get to see uh, all the other things that will be reviewed soon. You actually get to see the custom, you know, and you get to chat with me, you know. That's what's up. So, yeah, that's about it. I say like, subscribe. I don't know. You can if you want. Comment your favorite color. I don't know. And uh, hope you have a luxurious day and uh gregory here is gonna go just start blasting down people you see i want to name him something pittsburgh because you know i live in pittsburgh but i just can't think of anything that isn't cringe because you know you got yins yinzer i if my if i was a clone trooper and my name was yinzer i would probably just let the droid shoot me um i don't know Cool. I great Gregory's all I got. But yes, about it. Um, like I said, I should. Like I say every video, I need to end this before my delusions start escaping me and I just start going off about something stupid. So yeah, that's about it. See you in the next review. Unless you don't see the next review, then I'ma see you maybe again later down the line. Goodbye.